there are various kinds of uh, stuffed puris we make when it comes to south india we love this sambar masala and all that so today we're going to make this stuffed puri with sambar masala so here we're going to use moong dal and we're going to use shallots to get that nice flavor and little bit of sambar masala powder but first we're going to temper all of this hello namaste salam alaikum sasriya kal welcome back to another session with your wash chef and today we're going to make this sambar masala puris add some oil in a pan not too much you want this to be nice and hot because you want this mustard seeds to crackle when the mustard seeds crackle add cumin seeds some curry leaf make sure you you know kind of cut the curry leaf into very small pieces and add because this is going to go as a stuffing inside a puri in this add finely chopped garlic green chili turmeric hing and add finely chopped shallots you will notice that i am making a dal kind of stuff so that is what is going to be stuffing make sure that the onions are also finely chopped in this add moong dal saute this moong dal along with these things for a minute that will give a very nice aroma for the stuffing once this is slightly sorted add a little bit of salt and add some water do not add lot of water because this has to go as a stuffing in this add some coriander powder some sambar powder slightly spice it up by adding little chili powder and also add some coriander leaves you have to cook this till the dal is you know dal should not be grainy it should be soft but it should not be mashed keep cooking if you need to add some more water you can add also you can put a lid and cook it for few minutes on a slow flame then you will get this dal perfect the dal is getting cooked on a slow flame you want the dal to be nice but not mashed up here i'm going to make the puri atta using the wheat flour and as well as the all purpose flour you know add equal quantities is no big deal add some salt mix add little bit of oil add water and first you know make sure you do not add too much water because lot of the times i see people messing up puris because they add too much water sprinkle little water and make a nice stiff dough you have this dal look at it it is cooked still dry so this is how we going to make it and we going to do the stuffing make sure it is nice flavorful and add the right amount of salt you can also add some extra coriander or whatever you want so i'm going to let this cool down the aroma of the sambar powder is kicked in now make the dough just cut it into the sizes you want just take one of the roundels on the edges make it thin with your hand you can also use a rolling pin and make it just make sure that the edges are slightly thin then take the stuffing you know the more the stuffing you use the tastier your puri is going to be put it in the center get all the edges so because this is not a paratha this is going to be a puri so make sure you seal it well and later roll it into medium thickness and we're going to fry them this is just the way you make kachoris but the dough what we made is not going to be like kasta night right? that crunchy it's going to be soft and you can serve it for your lunch box or even for morning breakfast this would be great roll them just like puris but do not you know roll them too thin so medium size and it will be perfect when the oil is medium hot fry them till they get nice color they will not puff up like regular puris but they will taste really really good so see this is uh, slightly puffed turn it to the other side and this is what is going to be perfect the sambar dal puri and once they are nicely colored just serve it as i told you you can serve it for breakfast lunch or even uh, for evening snack also the moment you open this puri look at the amount of the sambar masala dal it is excellent when you make it you make varieties every often you make the same kind of breakfast you can be creative so even with the leftover dals at home you can cook them on a slow flame dry it out you can do the stuffing and you get this fantastic dal and i'm sure you know these things kids will just love it keep cooking enjoy life